Reconcile Bank Account. Let's take a look at the Bank Reconciliation feature in MaxTrax. From the menu bar, click Banking and select Reconcile Bank Account. And here we select which bank account we want to reconcile. Just double click on the account or highlight the account and click the Select button. So the first thing we do is enter the ending statement balance from our actual bank statement as our target ending balance. Note here, your opening statement balance should match the beginning balance on your actual bank statement if last month's reconciliation was correct. If for some reason the beginning balance is not correct, you will need to enter an adjustment to account for the difference. Our goal is to have zero listed in the difference field once we've tagged everything in the system that matches your statement. Now tag each item by clicking in the cleared column and there should be a little green check mark showing once the item is selected. Notice the balance above change two. Since there always seems to be an adjustment or two that you have to enter each month for things like bank charges or credit card processing fees, let me show you how to add an adjustment. Click the Add button and select Adjustment. And note there are a few adjustments already on this list, but we can add as many as we need. Let's start by selecting credit card charge and enter our credit card processing fees. Double click or highlight the line and click select. Enter the date of the charge, the amount 10571, and we could enter a memo or just click OK. The item is now added to our check register and is already tagged. Next, let's click on adjustment again and we'll add a new adjustment to our list. Say for example, an auto withdrawal for our company's health insurance. Click Add and select the type of adjustment, a charge or a deposit, in this case a charge. Enter the description of the adjustment. We'll enter Blue Cross and click Select to enter the general ledger account to post the adjustment to. Press the number 6 to jump the progressive search to the expenses and here is health insurance. Double click or highlight the account and click Select and the account name will show up here. You can enter the amount if it's the same each month or we could leave it blank and fill in the amount each time we select to add this adjustment to the register. So let's do that. Click OK and here it is on our list. With it highlighted, click Select. We select the date and enter the amount and we'll add a memo, March Premium and click OK. One other thing on the adjustments I want to note. If you get a return check, select the return check adjustment and the customer search window will open. Enter the name of the customer whose check bounced and here we can enter the original amount of their check, the return check number, the bank charges you were charged by your bank, and a charge that your shop may charge to the customer, like $25, for giving you a bad check. We could enter a note, then click OK. And this return check amount and the bank charge will now show up on our register. Plus, the return check amount and our customer charge now shows up as a bill to be paid by the customer on their customer record. It's a cool feature if you ever need it. Hopefully not. Now let's say a handwritten check was not entered. We would click Add, select Check, and this opens the Write a Check form and we would write the check as usual. This feature is nice so we don't have to exit the reconciliation feature to enter any missing checks. Same for deposits. Click Add, select Deposit, and here we are on the Items to Deposit screen where we can tag items to deposit just like we would from the Make a Bank Deposit feature under Banking. We can also delete or void an item on our check register. The only difference between the two options is that if you delete an item, it will not show on the register unless you check the box on the View Check Register screen to show deleted transactions. If we chose Void instead, the item would show on the register with the word Void next to it. Both functions will permanently reverse a transaction, but let me note you cannot delete a check that's been cleared in the bank reconciliation. When you void or delete a deposit, those payments that make up that deposit are not voided or deleted. The payments are just placed back into the undeposited funds account on our general ledger. And now those items will appear on your items to deposit list, waiting to be selected again and posted to the appropriate bank account. Payments are voided from the cash drawer feature only. 
Now with an adjustment highlighted, we can click the Edit button to edit the adjustment as needed. Change the date, change the amount, or change the memo, and click the OK button to save your changes. Same with the check. Click Edit and change the date, change the amount. We can even change a check number or the disbursement, but we cannot change the payee. Then we would click Post Check. But some checks, like checks written for an AP, cannot be edited from here. You would need to go into that vendor account, select the payment transaction from there, and edit the check as needed. If we needed to change some items on a deposit, we would highlight the deposit, delete it, reselect the deposit correctly from the items to deposit list, and repost that deposit. And again, we could click Add and click on Deposit to get to that Select Items to Deposit screen from here. Click the Select All button to select every item on the cleared column, or click Unselect All to unselect everything on the check register. And let's say you've been working on your bank reconciliation, but you're not quite done, you want to come back to it later. Just click Done and Save Only to save your work. You won't even have the option to save and post until you have a difference of zero between your cleared items and your ending statement balance target amount. So let's click Select All again, and once you've tagged everything and the difference is zero, click Done, and select Save and Post, enter the statement closing date from your bank statement, and click OK. You can print your reconciliation statement if you like, and now this ending statement balance will be your opening statement balance the next time you reconcile your bank account. And this concludes the lesson on Reconcile Bank Account.